Hey, John Dillon here with a, another tutorial from visualbroccoli.com. This is a tutorial that I'm kind of excited about because I'm using PowerPoint 2010. And typically what I'm going to show you how to do, I normally show it how to do it in Photoshop and Photoshop Elements. In fact, I have tutorials in doing exactly what we're going to do here in PowerPoint. The nice thing about this tool is it's highly effective. And in some cases, it may be even easier for many of you who use PowerPoint to extract your backgrounds than Photoshop and Photoshop Elements, specifically with some of the more complex images. Let me show you. First of all, I like to use a lot of images of people uh, within my presentation with text and a combination. And these are examples of professionally shot images that I purchased off iStock.com and I extracted the background. And some cases, in many cases, I shoot my own photos and I extract the background as well. So again, just a very visual approach for me as my guide for my presentation and it provides a little eye candy, if you will, for my audience. But let's go down here and get to the tool at hand. So here's an image that I originally did in a Photoshop tutorial. And what I simply did is extracted the background. Well, let's see if I can do the same thing with this in PowerPoint. Now, if you notice over here, not only did I get rid of the background, I added a drop shadow and I cleaned up this little dog ear, which you see over here on the corner of the patch. So I'm going to select the patch in PowerPoint. Now this is a fairly simple one because the background is fairly, you know, solid color. This is just a scan patch. So I'm going to click on format, come over here and click on remove background. Already it's gone to work. If you notice over here in the thumbnail, it's done a pretty good job of getting rid of the whole patch. So what I can do is, first of all, I can just expand this bounding box, but let me just show you some tools here. Let's just say for argument, I just want this star. So I want to just keep the star and get rid of the rest of the patch. So I'm going to go ahead and click on mark areas to keep. So just click on the plus with the pencil tool. And I'm going to come up here and I'm going to show you some, if I just kind of click in here a short distance, it's going to sample a short distance. The, the longer I can make this line, the more it's going to sample and the more accurate it's going to get. So you see the difference there. So if I come here, kind of go right up to the corner of that star staying in the yellow, it brings it all back. You look over here, now I just have the star. But I really want the whole patch. So the simplest way I could have just done that is just take the bounding box and make sure the patch is well within the bounding box's lines. That looks good. In fact, you'll see now the background is totally gone and I just have the patch as you see here. The last thing I want to do is, can I get rid of this little dog ear? Well, the fact is I probably can. Let's go ahead and mark area to remove. So we're going to select, select the middle button up here and we're going to take the little pencil and we're just going to draw across that dog ear. And let's click outside the box and it's done. Let's add a drop shadow. So I'm going to go up to picture effects, shadow, and drop shadow. And there we are. Here's the Photoshop. Here's the PowerPoint. Very difficult to tell the difference. So that was a fairly simple image. Let's see what a more complex image is. Now, the reason I say this is complex is down here in Photoshop, we could have played around with the, the magic wand tool and tried to select all this, which could have gotten done, but a lot of times it's not real clean and it takes a little bit of a skill. And normally I would just end up using a pen tool. For a lot of people, using pen tools is something really foreign to them. So I kind of stayed away from that in my tutorial. So what did I do? I just cropped the photo, had you cropped the photo in the tutorial, right down below his belt line. And that's what we ended up doing, just to keep it simple. In fact, here's that Photoshop image and you'll see I did exactly that. But let's see if I can do this in PowerPoint without having the crop it. So select the image, choose format, remove background. Already it's gone to work. Now, probably the simplest thing to do here is you'll see it's gotten rid of most of the background except for the harsh shadow here. Uh, and it's gotten rid of the pants and the radio. So the, probably the simplest thing is bring the bounding box down and let it sample more of it. And it got pretty much all of it. Another thing I could have done too is as well, is simply use the mark areas to keep and just draw a line in here. 
So I can play with it that way as well. So, but I'm just going to go ahead and go the easy way. And now what I want to do is remove this harsh shadow and part of this area down here. So I'm going to click on the mark areas removed, the little red box with the pencil. And I'm going to draw a nice line down here. That got rid of there. Here, just with a few clicks. And we kind of have this pull down bar here on the screen. I just want a line there. Let's go here. And across there. And if you look over here, done a pretty good job. Whoops, we got a little bit coming out the radio. Off the radio here, the, the pull down bar. So I'm just doing a line. And there we have it. Looking pretty good. Now I can go ahead and bring in text or whatever. Well, anyway, go ahead and grab a few images or download the images here you, you see here in this tutorial and give it a try and see how easy it is to use the, the background removal, remove background feature within PowerPoint 2010. Well, hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I really think this tutorial can really help you revolutionize the look of your PowerPoint presentation, specifically with images that have those pesky white boxes around it. Well, until the next time, I hope you always find unique ways to make your presentations more editable for your audience.